Hello, awesome readers. Today we're going to be reading The Black Rabbit, written by Philippa Leathers. I am taking all book requests. If you have a favorite book that you would like me to read, please send me your request. My email will be posted in the description below. Rabbit woke up one morning and stepped out of his burrow into the bright sunlight. It was a beautiful day. But something was wrong. He was not alone. Rabbit was scared. Go away, Black Rabbit, he cried. But the Black Rabbit did not move. Rabbit ran. But the Black Rabbit was right behind him. Rabbit ran even faster. The Black Rabbit won't find me here thought Rabbit, and he hid behind a tree. But when Rabbit stepped out from behind the tree, there was the Black Rabbit right in front of him. Maybe he is not a good swimmer like me, thought Rabbit, and he jumped into the river and swam to the other side. But as he pulled himself up onto the bank, the black rabbit climbed out of the water too. What do you want? cried Rabbit trembling. Why are you following me? But the black rabbit did not reply. Rabbit began to run again, faster than he had ever run before, straight into the deep, dark wood. The forest was dark and quiet. The black rabbit was nowhere to be seen. With a sigh of relief, Rabbit sat down and nibbled a carrot until he noticed two eyes shining brightly in the dark. Oh no, thought Rabbit. The black rabbit has found me. But it was not the black rabbit. Rabbit ran as fast as he could out of the deep, dark forest with Wolf close behind him. Then he tripped. Rabbit scrambled to his feet, but it was too late. He shut his eyes tight and waited for Wolf to attack. But nothing happened. Because there, standing in the sunlight behind Rabbit, was the Black Rabbit. Rabbit smiled, and somehow he knew that the black rabbit was smiling back. Hand in hand, they bounced off across the field. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can read together again.